get excited. We all think we made a good shot. We all hope that we made a good shot. And I hope that you made a good shot. And I hope you never need me. But the reality is things happen that are out of our control sometimes. Sometimes our eyes deceive us because we see what we hope to see instead of what we actually should have saw. Um, so when you get to your blood or you find your arrow or you watch the deer, try to pick out landmarks where the deer went. Try to examine the blood, if you will. You know, a lot of people say, oh, there's, there's bubbles in the blood. I can drop blood out of a dripper here and you're gonna see bubbles in it because the natural rebound of the blood off of a leaf or a blade of grass or whatever, oxygenated blood that is arterial blood or lung blood is gonna be brighter pinkish color and it's gonna have a whole lot of little bitty bubbles in it ever. It's almost gonna look like foam or froth. Um, just because there's a bubble in the blood here and there does not indicate oxygenated blood and does not indicate an immediate fatal wound. If you lose blood, don't grid search. We can track through a grid search. It takes a really long time. And sometimes we can't track through it just depending on is there frost, is there leaves, is it grass, is it CRP, is it, you know, harvested crop, whatever. Every step you take on the blood trail, following your deer, you're picking up blood, you're picking up scent from the deer, and you're dragging it with you everywhere you go. So more oftentimes than not, we see a grid search, and then we see we're going to walk the field edges, and then we see we're going to walk the ditches, and then we call us as a last resort. And sometimes we can work through that. Most of the time, it, it it's detrimental to the track, to the dog, and to us, and, it's, and you following us. So when in doubt, back out, period. <laughs>